as humans have a long history. Throughout all of human history, there is a repeated pattern of teamwork. In early history, it was necessary for survival. Now, it is treated as a luxury. We actively live in a pandemic of mental illness that only recently has been starting to get paid attention to. The younger generations are struggling to live in a world that actively works against many of them and doesn't seem to care about them. Hey, in case nobody's asked you this today, are you okay? Here are, three are you really fine? To stay I mean, alive. you know it's okay to feel the love sometimes. You want a few reasons to right? do it? Sure. You don't need to explain bad it's moments the way we all get them. Able to see your best and get through them. Really don't forget that even the best of have the sunshine. Yeah. 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 Quick little yeah. reminder yeah. before you pass you out. Will be fine. Due to this, people who struggle feel as if they can't reach out and force themselves into isolation, and there are still after effects of the isolation caused by COVID-19. This is clearly a problem especially because we as humans need human connections. Without it, we will struggle. It is an innate need. People began to fill this void with multiplayer games, either online gaming with games like Fortnite and Valorant, but also with tabletop role-playing games, or also more well-known as TTRPGs. TTRPGs are board games where you role-play as a character separate from yourself in a different world. Games where you roll dice, slay monsters, and save the world. The most well-known game is Dungeons & Dragons, or D&D for short. In these games, you typically have a Dungeon Master, or DM, and a group of around 3-6 to six players. Each player embodies a different character, and the DM creates the world around them and acts as a narrator. In these games, you can become someone who you aren't and escape from the world with a group of friends. You can be a lawfully good paladin who saves innocent lives, or you can be a sneaky rogue who steals from the locals. The only barrier is your imagination and the imagination of the others around you. Leland, clang, clang, clang. the pan whoo, spins your helmet around on your undead head, so you're looking at the back of your helmet, and you feel someone push off your shoulders. Everyone sees Marcus St. Vincent like full action. What is the connection between the two? Well, there are many studies of the effects and benefits of playing games like Dungeons & Dragons. In one article, the Dungeons & Dragons players of Death Row, the author, Carrie Blackinger, wrote on the story of Death Row inmates as they struggled to deal with the immense isolation they had been put through. The story follows the inmate Tony Ford and how he dealt with the punishing environments of Death Row by playing Dungeons & Dragons. The game of D&D helped these prisoners open up about things they had hidden for years and allowed them to connect with one another, a kind of camaraderie. This way of opening up through the game helped inmates survive those harsh conditions where it would lead most to suicide. Execution for over a decade has taken matters into his own hands. Scott Dozier was found dead this afternoon in an apparent suicide. Dozier, a convicted killer, had his execution delayed two times after it was caught in the middle of a legal battle between the makers of the lethal injection. Some more studies have shown that D&D also helps lower stress levels, especially in social situations. This helps players be able to get out of their shell, not only in the gameplay of D&D, but outside of it as well. Overall, the way we play these games has a strong connection on how we act in real life. Playing D&D can help show the importance of being with others, and it helps you from self-isolating, because, well, you can't play the game without a group. Do I just stop, or do I, what do I do? No, Dad, just let me come in the room. Just, just, you okay, have to press I'm this having a hard time because okay, it's... Okay, just you push this. Okay, oh. <laughs> Dungeons & Dragons has been a part of my life ever since 2017. I've been playing since the day I got the player's handbook and the 5e starter kit for Christmas. It has connected me with so many people, more than I ever thought possible. Whether I played it online or in person with friends, it was always a way that I could escape and be connecting with others. I usually play the role of DM and tend to create worlds from scratch. As I'm writing this, I'm actually in the middle of preparing my next session for some of my college friends. 
It is and always has been a great way for me to express my creativity and in doing so, express myself. The game has always been there. It allowed for me to escape in dark times like during COVID and allowed for me to connect with others on a deep level. Whether I was enabling players to explore a world I created or exploring and building bonds with these people, it has and always will create deep, long-lasting connections with those around me. These connections are important. You need to have ways to connect with new and old friends to thrive. Without it, you will struggle. Dungeons and Dragons help me escape from being alone, and it can help you too. If you struggle with social anxiety like I do, you can use these games to help you feel more comfortable. It has helped me grow past issues I have had with talking to others by gamifying it. This game means a lot to me. It has helped push me past my boundaries and my limits, making me a better person in the process. You strengthen your bonds with others and you help improve yourself while you play these games. So, if you feel alone, get out there and experience a story. A story you make into your own. Speaking a little bit of an archaic vernacular, I appreciate you having the courage to check me on something.